Good day, beloved. My name is Hendrik. It's awesome to be with you today. Today we are talking and learning about Jesus in the life of Moses. So hold on, here we go. Let's do something practical. You'll need a pen and paper. Ask someone watching with you to do it with you. And when you are ready and you have your paper and your pen, you can play the video again. Okay, so you've got your piece of paper. Divide your paper into four parts. You can either fold it or you can draw lines across to divide it into four blocks. Now, draw a small square in the middle of the four blocks. In the top half of the first block, write, best day of my life, and one sentence to describe what it was. In the top part of the second block, write, my biggest challenge that I had to handle and again describe what it was in one sentence. In the third block, the best gift ever, and one sentence to describe it. And then in the fourth block, the most difficult conversation I had, and then you can again just write something small about it. Take your time and write it down, and pause while you are busy. Done? Good, now you can write in the bottom part of each block how God helped you through these moments or how He was there in those moments that were good. Remember that He also works through people, a sense of calm in your heart, or through plans working out or solutions. If you struggle with, with this part of the exercise, talk to an adult or send a message to someone who can help you think. Ask God to show you how He was there and how He still is. You might want to pause again. This exercise is very meaningful to help us see God in our lives. We have a deep need to see God and to hear Him, but we don't always know how. Listen to Moses' story, how he searched for God and how God answered him. Exodus 33, Moses said, Please let me see your glory. God said, I will make my goodness pass right in front of you. I'll call out the name God right before you. I'll treat well whomever I want to treat well, and I'll be kind to him ever I want to be kind. God continued, But you may not see my face. No one can see me and live. God said, Look, here is a place right beside me. Put yourself on this rock. When my glory passes by, I'll put you in the cleft of the rock and cover you with my hand until I've passed by. Then I'll take my hand away and you'll see my back, but you won't see my face. Have you ever felt that the wheels are coming off and you're just not sure how to handle it or what the next step is? Have you ever wondered if you are the right person for a task? Have you ever felt unsure of who you are or what you are doing? I have felt hopeless and tired. At this point, Moses felt that he needed to know that God is going with them. He wasn't able to go without God. How beautiful do they explain it in Exodus 33 verse 11. And God spoke with Moses face to face as neighbors speak to one another. Moses shared his heart with God and asked him, God, I want to know that you are coming with us. I think we're in a time where it doesn't make sense to take the next step without God. It is too unsure and stressful to say the least. The wonderful thing is we don't have to. We can tell God, God, I want to see and experience you here with me. And just as he didn't disappoint Moses, he will also hear you and answer. You just need to realize how God works with you. When and where do you feel close to God? Maybe he invites you to be still and listen to music or work, walk with him in the garden. Maybe he talks to you through your thoughts, emotions or the people you meet. How does your friendship work? Every friendship is unique and special. Look out for God when he shows himself to you because when you ask, he will answer. He is with you just as he was with Moses and the Israelites. Sing, sing, sing And make music with the heavens We will sing, sing, sing Grateful that you hear us When we shout your praise Lift high the name of Jesus We will sing, sing, sing with the heavens 
Hi guys, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you that we can know that you are always with us. Please help us to remember that you are always there to help us when we are confused. Lead us to experience you closer every day, just like Moses experienced you. In Jesus' name we ask this. Amen. Have a great week.